When I was growing up in the 90s in the Midwest, aging deer wasn't even a thing. But today it's all the rage. And if you want to have bigger deer and better hunting for yourself, you need to learn how to estimate a deer's age on the hoof. As an artist and bow hunter, I've spent my entire life being a student of deer hunting. Not only does it help my career as an artist, but it also helps me be more successful in the field. I wanted to create this video because as an artist, I feel like I've got a unique perspective and the ability to visually show you what I've learned along the way. We're also going to talk about the number one mistake that hunters make when estimating a deer's age. Obviously, the only way to be for sure is to look at the teeth, either on the jawbone or by sending the front teeth off to a lab. But the problem is that by then the deer's dead. So if you want to have bigger deer and better hunting, you need to know what to look for before you squeeze the trigger or touch the release. In my best-selling print, The Growth and Maturity of the White-Tailed Buck, I spent hundreds of hours researching and drawing an apples-to-apples -apples comparison of bucks in each age class. It's been reviewed and approved by some of the best whitetail biologists and hunters in the industry. In my opinion, it's by far the best way to visually show how a buck grows and matures. So let's dive in to each age class and take a closer look. We're going to focus on a few body features of bucks as we go through. The head and neck, the back and rump, and the legs and tarsals. Now, we don't mention antlers anywhere in this, and we'll get to that later. At one and a half years of age, a buck is easy to recognize. His thin neck makes him look like a doe with antlers, and the neck connects to the body several inches above the brisket. As the deer ages, his head and neck begin to fill out. During the rut, testosterone is going to swell his neck, making his head appear smaller and his neck bigger each year. By the time he's mature, the neck appears to connect to the body in one large, continuous muscle. His forehead will be large and dark, his muzzle gray, and often the skin below his chin will begin to sag. Early in life, a buck is devoting nearly all of his energy reserves to skeletal growth, sort of like a growing teenager. But around two and a half years of age, the buck's skeleton reaches its full size. From this point forward, he'll have more reserves left over to grow larger antlers and stack on body weight. Another thing we look for is the back and rump. Young deer have a straight back and a lean, angular rump. The rump appears larger than the shoulders and often seems to sit higher, giving the impression that his back legs are longer than the front. As the buck ages, his rump fills out and his back levels off. With age, his back and belly begin to sag as gravity takes its toll on his body giving him a pot-bellied appearance. At maturity, the buck's front quarters appear much larger than his hind quarters, like a bull. Over the years, as the bucks participate more heavily in the rut and rub urinate on their hocks, their tarsals become large and dark, stained by the urine. This can be a great clue as to a buck's age, as some older deer may have the hair on the back of their legs even scalded from the acid in the urine. Young deer have long, thin legs with little tarsal staining. Bucks rub urinate during the rut, and younger deer have had less rut participation in their first years, so they've yet to stain their tarsals. As he gets older, the tarsals will get larger and darker, with stains running all the way down the back of the leg. A buck's legs don't actually get shorter with age, but as his body gets larger, it'll give the impression that they do. A four-and-a-half-year-old buck's legs will appear proportionate to the rest of his body, while older deer will seem to have legs too short for their large body. Now let's talk about antlers. You'll note one thing missing in the discussion so far of aging deer is antlers. Antlers vary so much by the genetics, nutrition, and region that you really don't want to look at a buck's rack when trying to determine the age. But to shoot top end bucks for your region, they need to be mature. Most Boone and Crockett entries are five and a half year old deer. And most experts will agree that five and a half to six and a half are going to be the largest antlers of a buck's life. I hope you've enjoyed this video and what I look for as an artist when hunting and creating. Again, if you want to have bigger deer and better hunting, you need to let deer mature. Good luck this fall. Be sure to check out ryankirby.com to see this print and many more. So now we've taken a look at the outside of a buck and up next, we're going to go inside and take a look at a whitetail buck's anatomy and what you need to know to be a better hunter.